Now a health alert involving babies. There's a spike in Duval County of babies being born with syphilis. If mothers have it and don't treat it, they're likely to pass it on. And it can kill the newborn in the womb or soon after they're born. Last year, the CDC says there were 918 cases of syphilis among newborns in the U.S. Arizona, California, Louisiana, Texas, and Florida led the country. News 4 Jacks reporter Brittany Muller is looking into the spike. A warning to women, Duval County seeing a rise in babies born with syphilis. In 2015, there was one case. This year, eight. And while five survived, three of those babies were stillborn. Had mom had adequate prenatal care and been treated appropriately, this might not have happened. While congenital syphilis can cause stillbirths and miscarriages, some babies are delivered, showing no signs at all. It starts with a prenatal visit. As soon as you find out, you're pregnant. That first visit, um, we do a, a full range of screening, including screening for syphilis. Um, and then between 28 and 32 weeks, they are screened once again and at delivery. If a woman tests positive, she and the baby can be treated and cured with penicillin. The findings show that some women don't even get prenatal care at all, or some it's very late into their pregnancy. Why is this an issue? because people aren't aware of their resources. There are free accessible programs, including the Magnolia Project and Healthy Start. It brings the services awareness to the home, to the families, and makes the connection back to the clinics. Knowing these resources are available could make a tragedy preventable. If you are pregnant and want to take advantage of these services, a link is posted up on our website, newsforjax.com, and these services are available to you after you give birth. We're live in Springfield tonight. Brittany Muller, Channel 4, the local station.